there's a yearling, about a pound and a quarter, yeah. pound. Well, the buzzbait bite isn't totally dead, but it is slow. I'm Lindsey Thomas. I'm here on Lake Weiss with Aaron Odding of Cartersville. And today Aaron's gonna show us some summer patterns for bass fishing on Lake Weiss. Aaron Odding has been fishing Alabama's Lake Weiss since before the first boat ramp was even built. Though his tournament fishing has taken him to lakes all over the country and Mexico, Aaron chose Weiss as the place to build a home and spend most of his fishing time. On the day I fished with Aaron, we would be trying two solid summertime patterns, buzz baits before the sun hit the water and flipping grass beds and docks with Texas rigs during the middle of the day. Weiss Lake, which is an impoundment of the Coosa River, is an extremely shallow lake. We put in at Aaron's private ramp on the upper lake and headed out onto points with grass beds and wood structure to see if the buzz baits would produce. Okay, this is a 3 8 ounce buzz bait. It has a white skirt, a uh, nickel blade, and it, this one here, particular one, is made by Stanley. Most of the people prefer a long rod. I like a short rod because the the shorter the rod, the quicker the set. We're, people that's familiar with the lake, uh, we're about a mile east of uh, Riverside Campground. That's the kind of structure. I'll leave it for you. Go. Oh. Thank you. That's the little, little yearling. Well, he's kind of beat up looking. Well, it just came off the bed. After an hour with only one hit on the buzz baits, Aaron said it was time to switch to his favorite technique, flipping docks fixing to rig up Lindsay a flipping stick. But I use an eighth ounce sinker, uh, four out gamma got you hook, straight shank, and that's for a reason. And uh, most people prefer the offset hook. And I use a, I really don't think the color has a lot to do with it. Uh, I like a zoom U-tail this time of the year. And uh, we're going to try that for a little while this morning. Most people, they just grab their line and just, and just flip, and they want to keep the line tight. That, we don't do that. The further you want to flip, the further up your line, rod you get your line. And you want it to hit the water with complete loose limp line. Just watch, you, just watch your line and just ease it up and let it fall with a complete loose limp line. And all of a sudden you'll see your line start moving. You, know, you can just take your time and reel down and catch him. Now, if you try to pick up the field that's there, he'll blow it out on you. It's not that easy, it's not that hard to flip, is it? Not really. <laughs> Obviously the hard part is knowing you got a fish. Another little yearling. Ah, right, we'll get him by the lip. Don't want to hurt him. It's a pound and a half fish, isn't it? Yeah, pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Was that one back under there? Aaron? Mm hmm. Another small one. He'll keep. Oh, he's a keeper, but he's a small one. About like that first one of the morning? Mm-hmm. Look here. There he is. 
He like to got too tight on him. He's yeah, he one. was. He, I had it too tight on him when he. He's a little one. That's the little one of the day. <laughs> you got a fish, though. Well, hate to even show that. <laughs> he took off with it, though. Now, if that had been a big fish, you'd, as tight as you was on him, he'd have blowed it. Blowed it out. Yep. I was trying to lean into it, give it a little more slack, mm -hmm. and I saw it coming to me. Another decent fish, about the same size. Yeah, they're not getting any larger, are they? No, but that's two in them 15 <laughs> minutes. Yeah, they're gonna pick up this afternoon, I think. I don't think he's quite as long, but he's a chunky one. No, he's real, he's real chunky. Look at how football shaped he is. Yeah, they're, they, they're real thick, have a good bed. See, these fish are already spawned. And they have so much shad to eat that they just get real fat in the summertime. There's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Going on the other side for a while. On top of the nose. That hook isn't coming out. And these are fish that are real aggressive when they're hitting real well. You can clip and your worm will never stop. It just keeps on going. Hmm. They pick it up as soon as it touches the water. And it just keeps on going. When the lightning moved in late in the afternoon, we moved for high ground. Aaron, we had nine fish in the boat by my records. These are our two best, two 16 inchers. By your standards for Weiss, what kind of day was that? Well, for wise, it's very poor. It's uh, real slow today for some reason or other. They dropped the water about six inches, and I think it backed them off a good bit. You seem pretty confident we'd end up with a bigger fish oh, yeah. in, the, in the boat before the day was over and it didn't happen. But... We had a rainstorm to come up to and uh, had to quit, but be glad to have you anytime. Well, we sure appreciate you bringing us down here. Yes, sir.